Let's look at another useful function. It's the name of the function is sum product, which is basically sum of products. And we let's look at a clear example of that. Okay, so here let's say we are buying many items, right? So for each item, we know the price that we are going to pay per unit. So for example, for hex gear one inch, the price is uh, three dollars. I've not made it currency, uh, and so on and so on. Okay, just some names I've made up. These are the prices. These are the quantities. Now we want to find out what is the total amount we are supposed to pay, which is of course three times twelve plus seven times ten plus four times thirteen plus twenty-five times nine plus six times nineteen plus 13 times 15. That's what this amount is. So we might write a formula like this. B3 times C3 plus B4 times C4. Assuming we are not copying anything, all of these can be, you know, relative absolute, doesn't really matter. Right? Now such a formula is very verbose and it's a little difficult to verify that the formula is correct. Right? Just because of its size and, you know, you've got stars and pluses and addresses and it can be pretty, uh, you know, pretty hairy to verify this. And some product is used exactly for this. So you can say some product B3 colon B8 comma C3 colon C8. Right? So you've got two ranges, B3 to B8 and C3 to C8. And the sum product function is very useful if you want to multiply the corresponding elements of each range and add it all up. Okay? So you'll find that uh, when we consider other problems later on, you'll find that this comes in handy in many, many scenarios. It's a commonly applicable function.